if you could have self-propelled artillery, why would you ever use the towed stuff? T-O-W-E-D, not T-O-A-D. I mean, especially in a fight like we're seeing in Ukraine right now, where drones and counter-battery can hit a firing position so quickly, it's understandable that self-propelled howitzers are getting a lot of attention. But at least for now, there's still a place for both on the battle. At a high level, self-propelled artillery is a cannon mounted on a moving platform. It's usually tracked. Think of the U.S. Paladin or the Russian 2S3. Technically, it could be wheeled. We are starting to see more models like the Archer here rolled out to forces all around the world. Now, these self-propelled howitzers, whether they're wheeled or tracked, can carry their own ammunition, just not a ton of it. Depending on the model, most would be able to execute a 15 to 30 round firing mission just from what they're carrying on board. On the towed side, these are howitzers that have to be hooked up to and pulled by a vehicle. Smaller 105 millimeter howitzers could be pulled by something like a Humvee, but bigger ones like the US M777 or the Russian D20 require something just a little bit larger. Now a towed howitzer has to be moved between locations by a vehicle, but once it's set up, a full crew can traverse the cannon 360 degrees to be able to fire in any direction. The vehicle towing the howitzer could very well have ammunition on board. A lot of variation here really depends on the setup, but it's not crazy that the prime mover could have 20 to 30 rounds available on hand to be fired before they'd have to set up some sort of resupply. In terms of survivability, self-propelled is the pretty clear winner. An experienced towed crew could pretty quickly set up and displace, but it's never going to be as fast as a self-propelled system that can already be moving off the firing point before the first round is even halfway to its target. Of course, that's important when you're trying to dodge drones overhead or avoid enemy counter-battery fire. So why are towed howitzers still in fight? Well, three big reasons. Cost, durability, and flexibility. In terms of cost, the most recent estimate I've seen is that the Paladin sets us back $14 million per vehicle. A towed M777 that fires the same ammunition as a Paladin costs $2 million. So after some higher level math, that's seven towed systems for the cost of one self-propelled system. So right away, does the Paladin provide seven times the impact on the battlefield? Probably not. The second part is durability. Howitzers can always break down. Some parts are harder to replace than others, which is an issue for both types of systems. But there's a lot of things that could go wrong in an armored vehicle that fires artillery rounds. And if something happens with the tracked or wheeled portion of that self-propelled system, it takes the gun down with it. Now, if a prime mover on a towed piece goes down, which is probably some sort of truck, easy. Just hook it up to another one. So all things being equal, you'll probably be able to keep more towed pieces in the fight longer. The third part is flexibility. Paladin weighs around 27 tons, which is about half that of a U.S. Abrams, but it's still pretty big, which means there's certain places it just can't go. Towed systems, on the other hand, are light enough to be dropped in a parachute or slung under a helicopter, which greatly increases how and where they can be used. I mean, Vietnam and Afghanistan had some pretty unique fire support requirements in areas where it was impossible to get a self-propelled howitzer. In the current fight, think of how muddy it can get in certain areas of Ukraine. There's probably going to be places that need fire support where self-propelled howitzers just can't go. Now, whether slinging a towed system under a helicopter is feasible with a surface air threat or not, at least it's an option. Neither of these systems are perfect for all situations. But there is still an argument to be made for both towed and self-propelled howitzers on today's battle. But that'll do it for now. We'll see you all next time.